And Marcus basically says the story of the game with the bigs not contributing enough to help the guards. So what do you think of that assessment? I don't think that's true. I don't think they contributed anything. <laughs> Why? Do I you know you have to ask them. Um, you know, again, I'm not that. Look, I like to win every game I coach. Tyler had a tough one. He could make a shot. How are we going to win if he's not making, you know, it's, he had a time. It's the first game he had. It's the first dud he's had. And I say dud, he had six assists one turn. What I said to them after the game, as bad as it was, the guys fouling themselves out and all the other stuff, bad as it was, we took a quick three in transition. We should have driven the ball and tried to get fouled. It was an eight-point game. We get the, the game to four, okay, four. Scow has the ball in the middle of the lane. Okay. Next play, Tyler has a layup. Next play, Tyler has a shot, doesn't take it, throws it to Jamal. He drives, has a shot, doesn't take it, throws it to Isaiah. You both have to shoot the ball. Isaiah misses. Well, you just lost the game on those plays. But again, defensively, you know, I mean, they shot 43. It's not like they shot 55% or anything like that. But, you know, they um, they made the fouls. And give, give them credit. Vanderbilt played well. But we're... When, just think of this. Jamal carried us and tried the whole game. And that was it. You know, we had a chance to win. That's why I'm not like crazy right now. How much did not having Derek out there hurt you guys being able to open up the floor? Probably hurt us. But again, you know, if he's not fighting and rebounding and doing stuff, if you watched the game against them last time, he was not a factor. He was not a factor in that game. He made one jump shot. So, sorry. Andy and NCAA. Oh yeah, absolutely. They've won. They've won five in a row, or uh, five of six. Yeah, they are. They struggle. Hey, look, you have A and M struggling a little bit. We've struggled a little bit. But I could go around the country and tell you 15 teams that during their year at some point struggled. This is a different year. They're an NCAA tournament team. Alex Blade was pretty productive against Alabama. What? You have to ask him. Next question. Are you worried at all that, about Tyler and his minutes and he's getting tired, or was it just a day where his shots wouldn't go in? He, I went in to talk to the guys about practice. And I was trying to back him off of practice. He said, don't do that, because I did it for a couple of days. He said, he'll screw me up. Let's go. Let's go up and down. So, say we, you know. And in this game, I could have subbed him at some different points, but we could never get a gap, and I didn't feel comfortable with who I had in the game, so I was just trying to get out of there. But we only got one, this week. We got two games. Regular season's over. We got some time, and we go into the tournament. He's fine. <coughs> they just had he had a bad shooting night. He's had bad shooting nights, just not that bad. And and again, he even missed two free throws. Mm -hmm. And then you have one guy go 0 for 4. You got another guy go 0 for 2. You have another guy go 0 for 4. 0 for 10, and you expect to win a game. And can I say this? Badly missed, like demoralizing misses to the right. Like, dudes, we play basketball. This is what we do. You guys, I mean, it is what it is right now. Though. Did you predict when when big guys are going to have a night like this? Obviously, no. I mean, it's just, I mean. It, it just the game got rough. You, either you relish that or you run from that. I don't know. I mean, and, and they're great kids and they're terrific players and they're, they're games that, you know. Your front well, guys only shots. took five shots, so was that just the lack of them being aggressive and assertive? And, and offensive rebounding like that other team did and, and having opportunities to score and passing it to somebody. And, so, what's the minimum, John, you'd like to get from the bigs? Anything right now. Just give us something. Give us a couple blocks. Give us a couple baskets. And they're capable. I mean, Scow struggled. Isaac struggled. They all struggled. I mean, let me just say this. Their front court players were better than ours today. Now, they weren't when they played us in Lexington. So you tell me. I wish I had the answer. I don't. Our bigs were better than their bigs at our place. Their bigs were better than ours here and took it right at us, and we did not fight back. 
it's just what happened. I mean, now we move on to the next game. We got another tough run game. Did, did they adjust on Jamal? No, he scored 33 points. In the second half. Adjust, yeah, yeah the second he scored 33. In the second half. He scored 33 points. He still scored in the second half. He got grabbed a bunch. There weren't calls. He did fine. Well, what do you think? He should get 50? Does Fisher Charles Davis was, fit the category of a guy that kind of, against Kentucky, rises up to know. new I levels? I don't know. I have to watch the tape. I have to watch the tape. You said the last game was the first time in the four that Charles had brought energy to the game late. I think. Yeah, he blocked a he shot. He came up there. He did some stuff. Rebound. And yeah, he's you know he's that's who he's got to be. You know, I didn't think Isaiah had the same energy that he's had. So now all of a sudden you have another guy that's your defender and rebounder. Back they, the, the rebound, the biggest rebound for us was the one that he went up to get, and the kid jerked it from him, uh, Roberson, and then it was an and one. I mean, that's the. So what happened? My fault. My fault. If this were the NCAA tournament, our season ended on a my fault. It's where we were today. This, look, when you have a young team, these are all learning experiences. I told them, I'm fine, let's go. We're going home, we get ready for the next one. We got two days, we play Tuesday. We got a tough game down in Florida, probably senior night, it'll be packed. They'll be ready to charge the court like these guys. It's, you know, and, and I'll do what I did down in Auburn and here. You just tell the guys, go in the locker room, go. Beat it. I'm not going to get anybody hurt. I'll look at the coach, peace, brother. Good win. And I win. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you most need to improve going into the last week of the season? Just got to play better. We 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 got to be the best version of ourselves, which at times we've been and we weren't today. And and what disappoints me is this was the kind of game. This is like an NCAA tournament game, and it was like some guys didn't ring the bell. Now you become a little worried. Can they ring the bell? Because this was an NCAA tournament type game. Now, you could say it was on the road. We had a lot of fans here. So this became like an NCAA tournament game. We had half the fans, they had half the fans. The guys didn't ring the bell. So I don't know why. You know, I'm not giving up on anybody. We're going to keep coaching. I told them. We coach you every day. We coach you in every shoot around. We're going to continue to coach you. But at the end of the day, you got to do this. And you got to want to do it. And you can't be afraid to do it. You got to be. You got to be. You want to be in the fray. I want to be the guy. I'm not afraid to miss the shot. I'm not going to afraid to. I'm not going to try to shoot it because if I shoot it and get fouled, I got to go to the line and make free throws. So I'm not going to shoot it, which means then your front line doesn't have any shots. Why didn't they shoot more? Right? You know, I'm not driving it and getting. Fouled. I mean, that's we got a little bit of that role in there now, but Don't we'll you? be fine. And you, you say you have a young team, which you do, but Lee and Poitras are veterans. I got a young team. But they're veterans. How frustrating is it they're veterans and you're not getting consistency out of those guys? Alex is coming off that injury, you know. Uh, Marcus is just starting to stay play well. I, I believe in both of them, so my whole thing is they had a bad game. These kids are not machines, they're not computers. And Vanderbilt played a great game and fought like heck to win. And when it got rough and they they out fought us, that's what this came down to. And it would have been nice for Tyler to make two or three shots. It would have been a different game. What's the chances Derek Willis will play Tuesday? I have no idea. He'll probably take a picture of his ankle and send it to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. It was covered. Thanks.